A lot of you have asked why I don't have more tips on perpendicularity, or any of the orientation tolerances for that matter. Well, the reason is there isn't a whole lot to say. If we take a look at this drawing, yeah, I have perpendicularity on a secondary datum feature because that's its relationship back to the primary. But beyond that, I don't need perpendicularity usually because I get it for free. I get it for free with position, with the profile tolerances, and with the runout tolerances. And the other orientation tolerances also. Here with profile, I'm getting angularity for free. So since we get them for free, I don't need them usually unless it's a refinement. So when do you use perpendicularity? To control a secondary or tertiary datum feature to a higher precedent datum because that's often its relationship. Or to control perpendicularity better than that control provided by the location tolerances. Start with location, then refine with orientation, and then the form controls, but only if necessary. And I'll see you next month.